friends, this is Vicki with Grandma Vicki Crafts. Today we're going to make a stuffed Easter egg. I bought this Easter egg at the Dollar Tree and I'm only using that to trace out the shape of my Easter egg on to my material, which I purchased at a local fabric store where I live. So we have our shape for our, for our egg. Then I cut out a pattern for his face and the material that I'm using for the face and for the ears is the Dollar Tree uh, car wash cloth that you find in the automotive section. Then we're going to need some little buttons for his eyes. So I'm using these little black buttons. We're going to need a needle and some uh, embroidery floss is what I'm going to use. Then we're going to need some little embellishments to go around the face when we're done. We're going to need some fiber fill to stuff him with and some twisty uh, ties to go in his in his ears so that we can shape shape his ears when we get them sewn together. So the first thing we're going to do is I'm going to take this to the, to the sewing machine. Now you can glue this if you want to, but I'm going to sew it and I'm going to sew it all the way around. Then I'm going to cut a wee opening, just a little slit in the middle here and turn it in outside right, inside out. So now that I have my egg sewn all the way around, I have cut a wee hole just into the front of the fabric. And now I'm going to turn my fabric to have the right side of the material facing out. And then we're going to stuff it with the fiber fill. So here we have our egg and then we want to make sure that we run our fingers or something around on the inside to make sure that you've got it all, all out. So there's our egg so far. So now we'll take our fiber fill and we'll start to stuff it all up inside. So I'll go off camera and I will stuff my egg with the fiber fill. So I have my egg stuffed nicely, not too firm, but just, just nicely. So now the opening, we're not going to bother too much about that. You could sew that closed if you wanted to, but it's really not necessary because we're going to put the piece of um, fleece that I had cut. This is going to be the bunny's face. So that is going to go on top of there and I'm going to hot glue this part on and then I have got one of my little ears that I have sewn and I have turned right side out. And inside I have put the Chanel stem so that I can bend it and shape it. And I'm also wondering if I'm going to use the purple embroidery floss because I think this is gonna look pretty cute. And I'm going to take it and I'm going to stitch all along the edge around here. So I'm going to go and do that and glue this on for his face and then we'll carry on. So here we are with the bunny's face and I've glued it on now so that's stuck down. I've stuck a couple of little straight pins in to where I think maybe his eyes will go. And then I also have a little triangle piece cut out that I will also be attaching after for his nose. So 
So I'm going back to the ears now for a second because I have, I am using my purple embroidery floss and I'm going to go on the inside of the, of the bottom of the ear at the edge up with my needle so that my knot will be on the inside. And I'm only going to pick up along just the top layer of this bunny's ear. And my needle is so dull. But this will just give it a little bit of a decoration all along the edge of the ear. And now they don't have to be perfect. But I think that'll look cute. So I'm going to go and carry on. I'm going to go all the way around and down to the bottom of this ear. And then I'll be back. So now we have both of the bunny ears finished to that point. So we'll set those aside. And now I'm taking my black embroidery floss and my bunny face. And I'm going to go into the middle of about where his nose will go because anything I'm going to do here it will be covered up with my nose after so none of my thread should show through there so now what I'm going to do is for his eye I went through and I'm going to come up to where that pin is I'll take the pin out and I'm going to put my eye on. Now this is a little button, so there is a little hole in here, and I can just thread that, thread that on. So there is his one, his one little eye. So now I'm just going to go back through where that eye was, and I'm going to go across and come up where this pin is. And I'm going to place my other button on there for his eye. So there we have the bunny's eyes. And now I'm going to take this and I'm going to go back down where that last eye came up and I'm coming back down to where I first started at the nose. And there we have the bunny's eyes. So now we'll make some little eyebrows for our bunny. So what I'm going to do is I'm going back through the same area by his nose and I'm going to come up by the first eye, bring my thread through, and then I'm going to go up and across. To the other eye, pull my needle through. So there's his one eyebrow, and then I'm going to come down and right back to the middle again where the nose is, and there we have the bunny's two little eyebrows. So while my thread is still attached to my bunny face, I'm going to set his nose on here. I'm just going to pin it a little bit here to hold it on. And 
And now I want to take my thread down from the point of his nose here and come back up. To the middle. Oops. <clears throat> just like that. So now I'm going to just tie this off. And then we're going to make some whiskers. So now for his whiskers, what I'm going to do is I'm going to start again in the middle and come across And I'm going to leave that there and cut that off there. So that will be one of his whiskers. And then we'll make another one. Again, through the center. And I can always make those a little shorter in time. So now I'm going to hot glue his nose on to his little face. And if I want my whiskers to be stiffer than, than my embroidery uh, cotton was, I could always take some Mod Podge with my fingers and just run some Mod Podge over them after we're all finished and just let it dry and they will harden. So there we have his eyes, his nose and his whiskers on. So now I'm going to color up his cheeks a little bit with some blush. We'll make him look a little rosy here. You can make him as rosy as you want. He's looking pretty cute. Okay, and now it's time to put the ears on. So I've already put a little blush on them there and I've just stuck a couple of pins in there because we want them to go right about there and I'm going to just go and hot glue that now. So now, I put his ears on and I put a little rick rack around the face area there. So I think the only thing left to do to dress this little guy up is to put a little bow in between by his ears there. So I have this deco mesh that I had got some time ago at the Dollar Tree. And it's kind of a purple color and I thought that would look kind of nice and it's got little white flecks all through it so I thought I'd just bunch it up and then I've got a, a little piece of decorative trim and I thought I'd use that to tie around in the middle so we'll tie that together Then I think I'll just cut through these ends and then if it's too long I can always cut it off. So 
so that's what that will look like on there. And I think, whoops, I'm sorry. I think that's going to look pretty cute. Dresses some up right there. So I'm going to go and glue the bow on and we'll see what he looks like after that. So this is what he looks like and he's all finished. So I think that he turned out pretty cute. So it's an Easter egg bunny is what it is. So I hope you enjoyed this. If you did, I hope that you will like, share with your friends, subscribe to my channel if you haven't already, and always remember to be kind. Thanks for watching. Bye now.